For a week and a half, the administrative headquarters of Nertiti in Jebel Marra in Sudan's central Darfur has been the scene of a sit-in. Thousands of protesters gathered to protest what they say is a rise in the number of violent incidents. They're demanding the government dismiss the administrative head of the area, as well as the head of police, military, and the paramilitary rapid support forces. We have been suffering violations and injustice such as killings, displacements and looting. No one official wants to discuss these issues and solve them. That is why we all, regardless of our political affiliations, have come out with clear demands. We want justice, peace, we want security and stability. I'm a farmer and when I go to farm, the Arabs don't let us. They try to rape us. When we run back to town to tell the police, they don't accept our request for help. And those people who attack us are armed. If we go to the farms, they threaten us. Protesters say Arab militias are targeting them. Local people consider themselves Africans and say they've long been targeted and their needs and demands marginalized. Similar grievances contributed to the start of a civil war in the region in 2003 and led to the deaths of nearly 300,000 people and the displacement of almost 3 million. It earned the country's then-president Omar al-Bashir an arrest warrant for war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide from the International Criminal Court. The war is yet to end, despite a ceasefire, as warring factions negotiate for a deal with the transitional government that came to power last year. The government has responded by pledging to set up a new court and send prosecutors to the area to look into the issues. Justice is important. We have taken decisions in having a court and prosecutors. We took some time in coming here because we didn't just want to come with words to offer to you. We will follow up on the issues we pledged and if they're not implemented, the executive committee of the area will be in touch with us until we can all guarantee that they are implemented. The demands of the sit-in didn't go unheard by many in the capital Khartoum. Once home to a sit-in that was violently raided last year, dozens staged protests in front of the Prime Minister's office to amplify the voices of those in Nertiti. For some who travelled hundreds of miles to join the sit-in, the issue of security is not just a Darfur problem. The problems of Nertiti are the problems of Sudan as a whole, because the problem with the lack of security is everywhere in the country. So we want security nationwide, because if we can't have peace and security everywhere, we can't have a country that will cater for us all. The people of Nertiti say they hope the government listens to their demands and stops the violence. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.